Hi everybody. It feels good here because I just saw like CEOs, architects and directors are talking and I'm like just an intern and a student. So a um, bit of marketing about myself. I'm Ridul Bansal, graduate student at San Jose State. Uh, QA intern at Citrix right now. I was interning in summer at Hara with Wen, who talked to you. Uh, and I was working in India at Coelex, so a brief about myself. And I'll be talking about automation in IE using WebDriver. So my first question, how many are like, you know, pissed off about automating in IE? Anyone? Just one hand? You're not done. Keep going. Come on. <laughs> Doesn't make sense to talk. OK, so before I proceed, I'll have some caution for you. I'm a newbie, so please bear with me if I talk something wrong or if the facts are a bit distorted. A lot has already been sa said about IE, so I have read a lot of blogs while I was interning, while I was automating IE. So I, I saw many people you know, ranted about automating in IE, slow performance, and they gave a lot of solutions. So it's, a lot has been said, so I'm not talking something innovative, just sharing my experience with you. And whatever I say, take it with a pinch of salt, so it's not correct completely. The other caution is for the Windows users, enthusiasts. I'm talking about IE9, so please, you know, don't mind if I talk something bad or anyone talks about that. So, so starting with it, why are we talking about uh, automation in IE and what's the problem? So, <clears throat> a pretty common API that's used while automation is find element by ID, right? So, or just find element by. So the problem comes when you have dynamic IDs. So you don't have a ID proper. You can't use the method call as find element by ID. And that's when you start using XPath. And when you start using XPath, it's like long, long lines of uh, the address for the locator. And it may be broken. So the next problem comes after using XPath is IE. The thing that works in Firefox just doesn't work in IE. The way it handles XPath, what I read in blogs, and what I experienced was it just handles it differently. So uh, it's not just the conventional way of dealing with them. And it's painfully slow. So you keep waiting and waiting and waiting for tests to pass, and the test just times out, and you're out of results. So that's one reason I'm talking about it. Fixes. What I saw was you can try timeout, just increase the timeout. The, uh, you can say five minutes, 10 minutes, half an hour, it doesn't pass. CSS, so the latest thing is, count, not Counter-Strike, it's CSS. So you can use CSS locators instead of the uh, XPath, and in that case, the performance may increase, but still uh, it doesn't work that great. And you may use alternate locators. You switch around. You have a button. You uh, find a uh, locator somewhere around it and click out there. So that may work, may not work. So again, that's not a great fix. So I couldn't find something perfect. And what I found as a fix was using a Ruby gem. I was working in Ruby. So what I'm talking about is about Ruby. Nokokiri is a Ruby gem. So basically what it does is, uh, as you can read, it's uh, HTML and SACS parser, so it parses all of your HTML page. And then uh, the way it performs is it parses, its, uh, it parses the complete page and turns it into a tree data structure. So after that, it depends on your API, like find element by XPath. So it, it iterates through, through the complete page, the complete uh, document, and then finds your locator exactly. Uh, so it's not bad in performance. and it finds it pretty quickly, almost the same time as Firefox. So uh, I used it, and the tests were pretty smoothly working. So Nokogiri is a Ruby gem that I use. Pretty easy to install. Just do a gem install Nokogiri on Windows, and similarly on Linux and Mac also. And just in the file, you need to say a require Nokogiri. So that's how it works. Uh, you can do it with HTML and uh, XML, so both of them work. And it supports CSS also, in addition to XPath. So kind of a code uh, snippet. 
earlier what I was doing was driver dot find element by expat span contains dash 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 and then click on it. But uh, somehow when I started uh, coding in for IE, I found that uh, it was just not working. I kept on waiting and waiting, but it couldn't find the element. So later on, it was a few additional lines, but uh, it didn't hit on the performance and the test started passing. What I did was I found the, I took the complete source code, driver.page source. I passed it on Nokogiri. So Nokogiri HTML is the, uh, you know, syntax and you see the source code. So the complete page, and then it finds by XPath. So when you say dot XPath, you give the complete XPath of that locator. And in the end, in the end, you just say dot attribute dot ID. So if it has an ID, you can say in the end find element by ID, or if it has a class or you know uh, text, you can do accordingly. So it's not that big of uh, a hassle. So this that was about Ruby, and I thought that might be Java people would. Okay, so benchmarks. The same test, exact same test. It took Fire on Firefox 3.6. It took like three minutes to complete, and on i9, it took around 4 minutes 50 seconds, but it did complete successfully. So yeah, there was a performance uh, hit, but that's with the IE. It's not with the Nokogiri. 32 or 64-bit IE? Uh, I did it with 32-bit. I'm not sure about 64-bit. Could be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you can expect it, yeah. So yeah, the performance was slow, but still, it works. The other uh, jar file, so it's a HTML cleaner. It's for the Java people. You can use this jar file, and uh, you know, it performs in a similar fashion. I have not used it, but I, I thought I'll give an alternative to you all. So uh, this is something that you may use for Java or Scala. In that case, these are some references that I found while working. And thanks to Selenium Meetup for providing this platform. Hara for the internship and Win for motivating me, and open out for you. Any questions? Do you know if that's a evaluated JavaScript when you load it? No. As in? So like a page, like the Google Home page, would probably not work very well. Why? Because the the element, the HTML elements are are rendered by JavaScript. Oh, I'm not sure. Yeah, sure. This one? Yeah. 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 Well, also make sure all these slides get up on SlideShare. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.